Democratic Party, we're watching you. Yeah. We are disappointed. Mm -hmm. We are angry. Yes. We are offended. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we feel like we're being mistreated, misused, and disrespected. Yeah. We will not continue to be disrespected by the Democratic Party. As I said yesterday, and I'll say today and tomorrow, if you're an independent candidate, Green Party candidate, uh -huh. Republican candidate, now is your time in this city. Joining us now, the Chicago resident you just heard there, Kata Trust. Kata, it's really great to have you. Tell me what you are frustrated about specifically. Well, one of the things that I'm frustrated about is the fact that the Biden administration um, is not handling the migrant crisis in a way that it is good for them or the cities that the migrants are being sent to. Um, I certainly don't want to demonize the migrants because not a lot of what is happening is their fault. Um, I think that our mayor, our governor, as well as President Biden has to step in and make some changes to what is happening right now. Um, right now, it seems as if our borders are just open and that people are freely coming in and that there are no laws that are um, being followed in terms of um, immigration. And so what is happening here in Chicago is that we are seeing our city spend up to $48 million a month to house and take care of migrants. Now, when you talk about the black communities here in the city of Chicago, and you talk about the years of disinvestment in our communities, in our schools, and all around us, and you see this amount of money being spent to people who have come from outside of this country, um, that is a problem for us. And I, I think that one of the reasons I got involved in this is because when you talk about coming into the Austin community, a community that has already been blighted and disinvested in, and talking about one of the major crown jewels of the community. You're talking about taking it away from the community to house migrants at a time where we're seeing increased crime because our children don't have things to do, they don't have jobs, and we're seeing this money being spent and it's being spent on other people in communities that could really benefit for that money. Here in Chicago, I was sitting in a meeting with the Board of Education, and they talked about a $391 million shortfall that they're going to have this upcoming year. And when you look at the money that has been spent on the migrants, you know, we have a problem with that. And I heard someone say earlier that um, here in Chicago, um, we're talking about turning away from the Democratic Party. I have already turned. I will be voting Republican this time around. And I don't think that that's just the sentiment of Cotta Trust. I think that's the sentiment of a lot of people around the entire United States. And basically, you know, for years, the Democratic Party has taken our vote for granted, and they feel that they continue, can continue to ignore us. Um, not uh, support us, not give us the things that we need in our communities, and we're going to continue to vote for them. We are not our grandparents. We're different. And when we see that you don't have our best interests at heart, we're going to go elsewhere. I'm going elsewhere. Kata, that's a, that's a big statement. If, if President Biden were listening right now or the White House was listening, what would you tell them to try to get your vote back? I don't know that they can get my vote back. Why I not? think that... Um, one of the biggest problems with this whole situation is when this started, um, I called my congressman, I called my step representative, I called my state senator, I called our county commissioner, and I tried to sit down to meet with them. I even called our mayor. And I wanted to sit down and talk to them to find out if there was just something that I was missing, if there was some information that I needed in order to make me sit comfortably with what was happening. And nobody had time to sit down with me. Nobody had time to meet with me to discuss this issue. And so as important as this issue has become to the black community and the fact that our mayor, who I know, whom I supported, 
whom I donated money to his campaign, has not bothered to pick up the phone and to call me and to talk to me about what's happening is a slap in the face for me. And so, no, I cannot support people who will not support me and my community. Kata Trust, Kata, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, again, uh, as I said at the top, a flashing red light for Democrats come this November. Kata, thank you. You're welcome.